In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom loop with dynamic linking inside of Elementor. This is a great way to create things like listing websites, where you need to have different types of content that's dynamic being pulled from the same template. Also, unlike regular posts, you can have it so that it doesn't link to anywhere, or you can link it to specific pages. So let's go right ahead and take a look at how to build something like this. So just before we design our custom loop, the first thing that we need to do is be able to have custom post types and advanced custom fields. That means when I click into one of these, for example, you see that we have additional fields down here under our post type. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I have a separate video that quickly shows you how to do it and I will pop it in the description below. It's nice and easy and just uses a couple of completely free plugins. Now we're gonna design our custom loop using the theme builder. Now for that, you do need Elementor Pro. So to get that, go to jackinthenet.com forward slash EP, stands for Elementor Pro, and there you'll be able to grab one of their plans. Just simply choose the number of sites that you're gonna need and then click on buy now, go through the checkout process, and then it will allow you to download the zip folder. Once you have your Elementor Pro zip file, go to plugins and add new, Come over to Upload Plugin and then simply drag and drop it on in. Click Install and then click on Activate. Last of all, all you need to do is click on Connect and Activate to link it up. Once you've done that and your license has been activated successfully, you'll now find that when you come over to your Theme Builder, you have something that looks like this. However, we need an option here that says Loop. And to do that, we're going to use a completely free plugin. So come on down to Add New, Search for Plugins, and search for custom skin. That brings up this, the first one in the list, Elementor Custom Skin. Simply install it and then activate the plugin. They do have a pro version, but we're not gonna need it for this. Now, when we head back on over to the theme builder, you'll see that we have a new option, which is loop. So let's go ahead and create one. Come on down, click on add new loop, give it a name. I'll call this one properties loop and create your template. We don't need any of these, so simply close it down. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a featured image. I'm gonna pull this on into the page. Now, a featured image is dragged directly from what we set as the featured image within our posts. Likewise, I want us to grab the post title. So I'm gonna put that in below our featured image, change it to H2 and center it up. Next, I want the description of our properties, which I put in the post content. If I go over to one of my posts here, you can see this is the content. That obviously is the featured image and that is the title. And then what I wanna do is put in some information about the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. So for that, I'm gonna grab an inner section, put that into the page, and I'm gonna duplicate it because I want to have four columns. And then I wanna have an icon. So grab an icon, drag it on in, find something to do with beds, that'll do. So put that in, put it over to the right, maybe make it a little bit smaller than that. And then I'm gonna grab a heading, Bring it into the page, maybe make this H4, that's about the right size. And then instead of it saying something, I'm gonna have it as a dynamic bit of content. So click on dynamic tags, come on down until you find ACF. This is the advanced custom fields. Again, if you're not sure how to actually add these to your post, simply watch the video I have, link in the description below. Once you've added this, you can now click into it again and it gives you an option. So now we can choose which option we have. This is bedrooms, so I'm gonna click on bedrooms. And this is pulling the information directly from my post, so down here. The reason we're doing this as dynamic content is because of course I have different posts and all of them have different number of bedrooms and bathrooms. So this means that the content is not gonna be static. It's gonna change, the values are gonna change. That is the power of using this dynamic tag. So now we've done that, I'm gonna simply copy this, paste it over here change it from a bed to something to do with bathrooms. That'll do. And then finally, another heading. I did it as heading four, didn't I? That was about the right size. So get rid of this text, dynamic tags, custom fields, and this time I'm gonna choose bathrooms. And then maybe you want to have pricing up here somewhere. That would make sense. So I'm gonna put the price underneath the title, maybe H3, center it up, Dynamic tags, advanced custom fields, click into it, and this time choose price. And that's it, that is our template done. So now we can click on publish. 
We don't need to worry about any conditions, so simply save and close. And now we're gonna head on over to the dashboard and go to whatever page you're gonna want your different listings to appear on. So I'm gonna create a new page. I'm gonna call it Property Listings. Edit with Elementor. Okay, so now that we've got our page we want our listings to appear on, what I'm now gonna do is find the Posts widget within Elementor, which is this one just here. Click and drag it on into the page. And then here under Skin, we wanna change this over to Custom. And now we're gonna choose a template and that's gonna be the properties loop that we've just created. And there we go. That automatically drags it through for us. There are some different options here that you can get under the pro version of the custom loop, such as making it masonry, etc. but we really don't need those. Not if you design it properly to begin with. Under style, you can change the columns gap and also the rows gap to bring them closer. And then all I really forgot to do was center this up, but we'll do that in a second. Notice that all of the values are different. So this one has got five bedrooms, while this one has 10, that one has two. Obviously we've got the different number of bathrooms as well. And that is because we use the dynamic tag. So this is how you can get different information coming from the same custom loop template. So if I go back into our loop that we created, that's good, it's pulled through now. So what we can do is click into here, align it center, I think there's too much space between it and the information below. So let's just bring those in. And then what we could do if we wanted to finish with is put a box shadow around this. So let's go up to our section, go to style, go to border, add in a box shadow. You can obviously change the colors and everything. I'll leave it as it is nice and simply, maybe give it a border radius. Then we can update this. And then if we come on back over to our property listing, all I need to do is publish this one and then update it. And there we go. Now you have your custom loop with dynamic content showing off your different listings, which you can obviously style up to your own liking inside of that template. There's so many different things that you can do with this. It honestly opens up a next level in design for you. I really like it. And please let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a full feature length tutorial showing you how to build something like a full real estate website where we can have lots of different listings. We can also have a membership aspect as well. Post on in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. For now, thank you very much again for watching. I'm Jack with Jack in the Net. Please like this and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.